All right, good evening. This is the African Crypto Warlord coming to you from Zambia. I hope you guys are doing well. This is our XRP analysis into the weekend. This is a six hour time frame on the projection bosses. What we're doing here is we're looking for orange line and furthermore, in this cone, we can see that there is a negative skew. So by the time we get the next flashes, what are we hoping for if you're bullish? You're hoping that the flash comes whilst you're above this orange line over here. Um, all the flashes I'll explain when we're done. So where have we closed off? We've closed off over here. And the general idea being the cheat sheet. You close candle, you open and close candles above four a four six eighty four. In our previous video, we demarcated this would be quite a trappy region. So now that we're here, pretty much all that needs to happen is get this bottom side orange line above. 4637 and then you look for continuation into 5202 all right um that was the last time we were there was october 14th and then you hold this level or you deny it you'll be back here you hold this level you have opportunity to carry on to 5858 it's a very long way away but hey you can't deny what the data has to say all right so interesting thing what I have here is Binance loading on the 21 day. What I can see is a bit of 50-50 action, which is matching up perfectly with my 21 day uh, means over here. Furthermore, we have a nice big suck of liquidity. So what I can expect is either which way we do run from here, just because of this cross, we will be back to we'll be back at 4717 in the coming weeks or coming months. Just depends on how strong this rip is either to the upside or to the downside but when these cross there's going to be a little gap here it's going to be a lot of filling up at liquidity for four five four two it's either buy or sell walk depending on where we are okay so we'll see this price range again sometime before the end of the year that's what this is telling me um now why is that important let's say you do get a pump out of here okay you're going to hit this outlier event up here this RO is going to be going down and then that can act as its mean reversion point okay and then if that's its mean reversion point then this is a buy order if this carries on going sideways then if it closes below the mean boom we're coming back here that causes the cross over here and then we come back up here so I hope that's helpful for a little bit of long term projections and understanding of what's going on 14 day contraction same as the 21 day sideways um, until stated otherwise so you close below 4444 you will have this mean reversion play with a little bit of bear div up here follow through DLP is reducing but that's pretty much because we're having a shitload of green candles at the moment but you're going to need more green candles to kick it out of its trend out of its slow decay down okay red flash came off these guys are curling up we have our first return to the upside but our MA behind here it's a little shadow is actually going down all right, so there's a lot of work that needs to put in at 4449, four, pretty much our previous target, seven day. What do we got here? We got contraction, positively correlated. That's sort of what's going to be keeping this pump capped. All right, so you can maybe expect 4909, but the reason why it wouldn't break through 4909 is because it's still in positive drift mode, uh, negative drift mode. Okay, backs that, that's what can shoot it up here. If the market does flip and it backs this bull div that comes through, then you'll see a challenge. All right, you see a challenge up here at five two seven seven. <coughs> Sorry, five day. I'm loving the five day. Uh, PB cones me need to be off. Um, RWTs on. Oh, we got them both. There we are. So we have five day. This is pretty good shit. Five day expanding above the JMA with expansion and volatility. Right, so you close the candle above the JMA over here for 696. You will more than likely catch the trend. So this will reverse out. This little yellow thing starts to look like this. Oh, pretty much just jumps like that. Boom. Um, that's how you know you'll be in trend. So we'll be looking for that in the next four days and four hours. Catch over here is, is the only thing that gets us to break these previous highs which is not saying highly unlikely but it is one of those moves that will be 
um, very hard fought for is these need to move in significant positive correlation. You'll maybe get that at 5021, right? Significant positive correlation that carries it up into the previous highs. If you don't get that, that's a shorting range as it's been here. Three day. Let me see if I can get through this quick. Sorry, guys. Expansion on three day looking good. Um, that's super chilled. Follow through. Hold above JMAs and means. Uh, looking to target 4835. That's fine. Super scalper mean reversion. This RO is going to match up with this line over here. So the bears can deny this mean reversion on the three day if they keep it below 48. Two four, right? But the general idea being is you want to get the wick to that, and then the next print will be able to print it down easier. Whereas if you just dump it from here, you don't get as much legs to the to the downside whilst carrying a lot of the data in your favor. So lift it up, bears, if you want to have more downside in a couple of days to come. Um, well, it is crypto, right? So you can do whatever it wants. Uh, expansion contraction on the twenty-four hour, playing off of a bull dip. Hold above 4715 for the next 3 hours and 43 minutes. You'll have that mean revert through. Confirm its, uh, confirm its journey to an outlier event. Um, red flashes, you'll wait for those guys. This column looks like it's going to expand with the chaos and disorder in this direction. So we're looking for a little bit of a pump out of here. On the 12 hour, let's see what the 12 hour said. DLP's mean reverting contraction. Mm, a little bit of stuckiness over here. What we will be looking to see is a white line pop up and then we have both sides of the equation saying pump and positive drift and then that will help definitely back this mean reversion um, there you go so a little bit of follow through then we're going to drop it to the six hour here's our six hour distribution cone so what are we looking at here here's a six hour distribution cone so general idea being is volatility sh should generally stay expanded if you hold above uh, four six Eight six, you'll have some more continuation to the upside. Um, given that we've uh, broken through these levels, have a mean over here. There is some cushion for the bulls to maybe set in another bull div somewhere down the line to get us up into five two zero three. All right, we are in a trend here. We are looking for chaos and disorder to increase to the upside. Three hour. So we've been playing on. Sorry, let me not do that like that. Put that there. Cool. Three hour. We have chaos and disorder going up, but you're going to need significant positive correlation to have this follow through. All right, so we've got to stick on VRE levels now to just get a general idea. So this, from what I can see here in this information, it's outlier events is all the way up here, four seven six seven. So. 4796 has also been in the book a little bit of a wiki range maybe chaos and disorder it's in a trend so it does look like uh, it has the steam to carry on through ha is moving into outlier events but we haven't got data up here maybe if I was to put on a cone on the three hour or something like that expansion to upside disorder nearly in full blown trend um, we're peeking at it we're peeking at it and then 45 minutes, there's a bull div on the 90 minutes. She doesn't like to lie. Contraction, so 45 minutes looking a little bit worked over here. Paused for a moment. Um, let's throw up our JMA. How far away is that? Because if it closes below the JMA, we'll have this confirmed to the downside and back to one of these levels. So here's a JMA. So call it by the time this is done 4717. You close below 4717, you start looking for more downside. Okay, uh, 30 minutes. We have pump chaos and disorder to the upside. And then we have 15 minute distribution cone. So here's something that will be very nice to observe. Uh, we're going to come up and we're going to pretty much look into tag this thing over here. This Laplace level. All right. Hey, you're not allowed to do that to me, bro. Okay. My time I need reverse wave trend. I need you both. I need you both. There you go. Um there and control Z. There we go. Okay, so we're looking for a close below 
This mean of it. Oh, that's on the one minute. We need it on the 15 minute. This is the 15 minute cone. That was a one minute cone. Sorry, reverse wave trend on. There we go. So in the 15 minute cone, you're looking for 4793, which matches up with 4796. On the one minute cone, there's a region here. And then we'll go look for. So you fail here. I, I like. I, I know it's going to touch. I know it's going to touch. Um, but if you do break through, you can look for a trap here at 4770. And then maybe a better downwards target to any of these regions. Uh, let me turn this off. There. What we have here is a mean all the way down here at 4650. We have the Laplace distribution mean down here at 4613. Uh, we have come up close, but given that we've had this whole range, I think it's just going to get a little bit choppy, hit one of these wicks, and then have a continuation through. I hope this was helpful. Um, Bull we'll div at the JMA for the next shot. Let's go put it on to 15 minute. See what our volatility tool is saying. So it's saying positive drift. So for now, until flipped, chaos and disorder is turning around. That matches that. Five minutes. Expansion to the upside, red flash. Take the mean off. Ultimate power mean and BRE. So that looks a little bit more bullish than usual, and it should have a little bit of juice to see if it can close above this JMA. If it does, it will continue. We'll plug this over here. So there's a VRE level 4765 and our one minute cone is up to 477. Hope this was helpful. And just a general overall market view of what to expect next. Don't matter what the price does. Let's get a random guesstimation on where our daily is going to print we up here for a little while so currently our daily our new daily will print somewhere down here um, if we get up here our new daily will pretty much print in this range all right if we get stuck in this range we're gonna have two dailies very close to each other maybe even three dailies very close to each other of course for a lot of liquidity in this region as you can see when they're close there's a lot of uh, signal pressing that, that needs to be done we're looking for continuation up I hope this was going uh, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please do like and subscribe.